And when we started looking for a circus, I was like, where are we gonna get this? And I, I mean, Miriam, the EP, you know, like at the end of the day, it's all credit to her. She has researched every circus in the country. She has researched everyone and finally she was like, check out Rambo. We worked with Rambo Circus, so they gave us the basic um, shell of the tent and the basic stage and, and um, stuff and they helped us with draping the inside of the tent so we designed that and, and gave them the exact dimensions and everything. Selected all the fabric for it and all of that. Tons of references, Arjun and Aparna and even the hair and makeup, you know everybody was like really really into like they spent a lot of time referencing it. Most challenging would be the circus, I would say, because it was so big in scale, in the sense that you had probably 90 to 100 odd characters where you've got to have each of them in a special makeup. Be modern uh, and colorful and fantastical, but we also wanted it to be Indian and Rajasthani and kind of real. The costume was full of diamantes and obviously my real shirt don't wear anything like that. So the diamantes started digging in, so by the end of the shoot, my legs, all the pits that came in contact with the ring, like this, this costume was, um, I should keep it for prosperity. <laughs> Firstly, I have to wear a costume that I have never in my life imagined that I would wear. You want it Indian, but we take Indian Rajasthan and make it and blend it with the traditional Western circus. All that madness, all that anxiety about circus, it was really so worth it once we saw it. It's like a mishmash of everybody's creative energy just piled into like a bucket and shaken and served, you know, it's a very crazy experience. Like I said, she had a very strong sense of how she wanted the look of the film to be and we had to try and make that happen for her. We did manage to achieve what we set out to do. In terms of the looks, I think we did. Everywhere you are getting light, so naturally it is very hot over there. It was actually difficult how to place the lights and how to get the, you know, like proper lighting inside that because also you, we, we, we had to do like 360 degrees and you couldn't see you know, all the lights. So, so we had actually have to build trust, you know, like in the, from pole to pole. <laughs> I chose shooting at night because otherwise like the texture, the, the fabrics were like translucent so shooting with the sun during the day would have changed you know the level of like light that was coming into the tent so it, it was better to, for me to have full control. When you're tell, talking to people about the backdrop of the Hindi film industry, they've already seen what is in front. Now when you shoot it from behind, you need to capture all that. That's why the song required to be the way it is. And uh, like you said, yeah, uh, it's a huge, big, mother of all songs. <laughs> I wanted to do a circus and then I had Rithik and I had Isha. So, I mean, you can go to town with them. Circus song was one experience I never went to. 
Nisha Sharwani can do anything. <laughs> She's insane. She's really crazy and she came in and she was like, you know, I could do this, I could, you know, swing from this rope and we were like, no, we want to do the ring. It was a wildest experience. At that time, I remember going, oh my lord. But now in retrospect, I'm never going to forget it. It's one of those one of those things that you, you know, when you grow old and you like to talk to each other, I did that. It was really sweet. She's amazing. She looks like a million bucks. It was great fun. Farhan can totally dance. He was like, you can't put me on the same set as Ritik. I mean, they don't, they, they're not in the same song together. Wow, I mean, like, if you talk about like having a, uh, a nervous day, <laughs> that was it. Zoya's happy, Weber be happy. Ritik was smiling, so, <laughs> so I guess it's all okay. Sure, it's gonna just be a visual spectacle. I think it'll be a delight. Let fight chance. Hundreds of setups to be done and uh, just it's raining so heavily. The set is getting flooded. Everything power over pack. there is on, on the ground. The power packs, our connections to those, everything is on the ground. And these poles which are there at the back here, they're all metal. So one short, short circuit will like blow up the whole thing. It'll like fuse, everything will go. It would just keep getting flooded. People would have to take like, bucket full loads of water out. So one day they just had to put the lights off because it was uh, a hazard. Like someone could get electrocuted. So we lost an entire shooting day. That was quite scary because there were so many people inside that tent. When you're playing back a song and recording, it's pretty loud. But you could just hear the rain just consistently, you know, over that loud music. We had a crazy amount of rainfall, which doesn't happen in, you know, end of May, early June. And it happened. But I think everybody dealt with it and it went, all went fine.